It's a great day in South Carolina. This is Karen with Zena Demuse, and welcome to my channel. I am glad you stopped by. I hope you hit the subscribe button, the like button, leave a comment or two. And what do I have for you today? Today is my October and November haul. Yes, two month haul. I didn't get to it in October because I had a lot of going on in October. October, if you don't know, is my jinx month. Stuff always happens October. Last year, I wrecked my Hyundai, totaled it. Didn't hurt the car that I hit. Yeah, it was my fault. The sun was so, was glaring in my face, I did not see the car in front of me, and I rear-ended them. They got a little scratch. My front kind of got buckled in. But no injuries. I did have a black eye, but that had nothing to do with the black eye. That had to do with October being Jinx month. Some little kid was throwing things, and I got my face got in the way, and I got a black eye. I had explained to everybody, no, it wasn't the accident. It was a six-year-old that did it. Anyway, so October was my jinx month. I got sick. My dryer died, so I got a new dryer. So that's a haul thing, I guess. Got it at Home Depot. Not the most pricey thing. I got the second cheapest, because the first cheapest looked like it was about to fall apart. It, they didn't have one that folded the clothes and put them up, so I wasn't interested in the high price one. I just wanted a dryer that dried my clothes. And then my tires were slashed. It wasn't done on purpose. It looks like I may have ran up on a curb, so my steps dad thinks. So when you replace one tire, you should replace two, so they say. I don't know if that's a way to sell more product. So I got new tires. Then the toilet broke. I didn't get the toilet fixed because the phone, my cell phone broke. And it almost cost $200 to replace the cell phone. I decided to get a new one because the contract was going to be up in two months, and I... um. Put off the contract and got a different phone because you, as if you may see in previous videos, I kept apologizing for you couldn't hear me. I have looked at one of the other videos that I've recorded already and you guys can hear me now. Especially since I'm standing over the phone. So since I'm standing over the phone, I'm on a, it's on a wire and it's easy to move and I apologize because I am going to bump into it. That is what I do. Anyway, here's the box for my new phone. It says... Samsung S10. I did not want to do insurance, which would have been basically the same amount. I would have got a refurbished phone, and I would have got that cruddy Pixel, Google Pixel 2 again. So, yeah, I got the Samsung 10. And you have to have the um, OtterBox to go with it, of course. And you have this, have the screen protector. And then... I need a new charger because my Pixel will not charge on anything, so I didn't have one. And then I went to um, Five Below and got this thing. And by the way, it's not Five Below anymore when it comes to tech stuff. It's Ten Below. But I hadn't seen anything over $6, I don't think. I got this charger. <laughs> and my sister, she's uh, look like something dirty. <laughs> anyway, it's a charger bank. Um... I did already test it out. We were at dinner and I was at 33%. Plugged it in. It's not a fast charging, but by the end of dinner, it was up to 42%. So it, may, it, it went up 9% in about an hour. So it d does give you some charge. Anyway, that's it for the phone. Oh, and the, bath the bathroom. I have two bathrooms. I live alone, so I just use the master bedroom. And somebody asked me, why aren't you in the master bedroom? And I explained that I want to rent that room out. I just, I haven't been ready to rent a room. I actually rented it out for a month and the guy was a bozo. So I have to start all over again and I have to clean up some stuff around here. To be honest, I don't want to have the cats, but I have cats and I'm going to keep them until they pass on naturally because I adore my cats. And I'm not getting the other cats. But, yeah, that's why I don't have the master bedroom, so I can ask for a little bit more, and they can have a private bathroom, and they won't mess with the main bathroom. Now, this haul is crafty, Christmas, and my upcoming Disney World trip. 
I don't have any of it sorted by stores. And I let's see, what stores did I go to? I went to Five Below, as I already mentioned, Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, and Ollie's. So, and oh yes, Kohl's. So when I pull something out, and I'll tell you what store it's from it, if I remember how much it cost. So the first thing I got for my nephew, which is Christmas, is this um, Build and Go storage set. He likes Legos, and it comes with this drawer. You can put your Legos in, and then you can build on top of it. That was at Five Below for it, $5, of course. It's only the tech stuff that I saw that was only $10 and over. I got two of these, one for my little nephew and niece from Five Below. It's a knockoff Play-Doh. It's the Crazy Art version they love pj maxx and it comes with green blue and red dough plus the molds so i think they're going to enjoy that ages are three and up and that was of course five dollars then these came from hobby lobby i am making some um scrunchies so i needed some of this i think this is actually no i was gonna say this is too thick but it's not because i didn't realize there were Double over. Making some scrunchies, so I picked up some of this um, elastic for the scrunchies. Then I want to make some bows for my um, mini Mouse ears. I can't decide if I want white in ribbon, white in frat fabric, or in gold. So, of course, I bought it all. I already had the gold, but I bought the white in the ribbon. And that was from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. It was originally $3.99, and it was 50% off. These were $1.69. Sometimes you can get them 50% off. I do not know if they were on sale or not. They were only $1.69. The next thing came from Michaels. I got it Saturday. I, Joanne's, my, my Joanne app had a 60% coupon. I might have been one of the, you know, the few that had the coupon. I don't know because the lady at Michaels said she didn't know Joanne's had a coupon. So I utilized it and bought a big old tub of Aline's Tacky Glue is 64 ounces. So instead of keep buying the little Dollar Tree three ounce bottles, I bought this big one and I can refill the bottle. This is one of my go-to glues. I know everybody likes the art glitter glue and I broke it. I'll show you what I did. And I don't know, I don't have a um, cap to um, replace it. The cap broke off. So... You need to have this spout to use this tip. I could probably put an Elmer's glue on it, but you're not going to get the thin tip. I'm probably going to have to buy one of the smaller bottles with the tip nozzle tip on it. Just so I can use it. And I've got two bottles of this, so i got some plastic wrap over it. Sorry about my measly. The next items came from Walmart. I got these on clearance, and I was so excited to find these because I had actually planned on buying these at the beginning of the summer, but we never had $30 to buy these. They're the, um, obviously the fan sprays. You put a battery right back here. You fill the water up this way. Oh, there it is. And they were $9 a piece, but they were on clearance for $2.50. So that's actually going to be a Christmas gift. I know, that's a weird Christmas gift, right? Hold on just a moment. Where's the pause button? I hope this is it. Sorry about that. That, that side of stuff. This is going to be a Christmas gift. It's going to go along with the Carol One Season Passes that my mom gives to my sister every year. So that because it gets pretty hot in South Carolina in the summer, we usually go to the water park part of it in the summer and do the October stuff, which is much cooler. They have scare winds, which we don't participate, my brother in law does, and my older niece. And then they're going to have Winterfest. It all comes with your season pass. Then I got this from Hobby Lobby on clearance, it's two. $2.69. Turns out I already had a crown punch, but I think this one's a different size, so you can never have too many, right? And then I got these at Walmart on clearance, and they weren't advertised on clearance. I had just bought one to put on ice cream, and when I realized they were $0.25, cents, I went back and, and 
got a few more. I didn't get them all. And then a couple days later, I went back for something else. And they still had some more, and I got the rest of them. So, I've actually passed out a couple of them already. And I'm going to take some of these to our, on our Disney trip. They were originally $2, and I got them for a quarter each. And it's the dinosaur gummy bears. And they do um, go with the theme because we are going to Animal Kingdom. And they do have Dinosaur Land. And it is one of my nephew's favorite things is, is dinosaurs. I'm sorry about this pink one. The next item, I was just over the moon that I found this. They sell this at Target and they sell this at JCPenney. But Target and JCPenney, you cannot use a coupon. Hobby Lobby, you can. The same price at JCPenney at Target and at Hobby Lobby is a caboodle. I know, retro 1990s, right? We got one for my sister last year. One of the, her dance students broke it. So here's the replacement. It's the same size. It was $19.99 with a 40% coupon. And ta-da! Uh, let's see. How do I? Oh, there you go. Ta-da! Now it's got the mirror. Hello, me. So, yep, $19.99 with 40% off. So I was glad to find that with a coupon. They broke this part right. They broke this part right here. So she still uses it, but she has to hold it like this. Not like intended. I'm sorry, I told you I was going to bump you. The next thing was a store called Ollie's. Ollie's reminds me of what Big Lots used to be. Big Lots has become too much like Marshalls and Home Goods and all that. Too fancy smancy. It's a um, buyout store, and one of my favorite things to find at um, Ollie's are books. So, got the Alice in Wonderland coloring book. These are all coloring books and drawing books, by the way. So, these are the original pictures from the books. And it was, I think it was $1.49. Yes, it was $1.49. And then I got this Mickey and Minnie. I wish I could find two of these because I would have bought one for my niece and me. And it was $2.99. And some of the pictures. You got some cartoon things going on. Yeah, I wish I could buy find two of these. The next one are drawing books with Zentangled or um, Zendoodle. There's Zentangled drawing for calm and focused minds. These are these two are Christmas gifts from my mom to me. <laughs> I just bought them for myself because <laughs> I I do that kind of thing. And they were four ninety nine. These were the pricier ones. And I believe it's by the same lady, and I've seen her videos before. Her name is Susan McNeil. And don't you mess with a certified Zentangle teacher. Because they get upset when you try to say um, doodling is the same as Zentangle. You just don't do that. Yes, this is Susan McNeil, Zen Drawing Workbook. But I, I do love my doodling. Yeah, and I know. I, I, I just said it. I, I, I think it's the same too. <laughs> but don't argue with them about it. Okay. Since we are going to the animal kingdom, I got the knees, this junior t-shirt that says, but you can't see it. Lanky. And then I got the little nephew, which by the way, this this next one was really hard to find because they were all long sleeve. And last time we went to Florida in December, it was 87 degrees. So I got him the t-shirt. And it's got Azul, I think that's his name, and it's got Simba. And it's in a t-shirt. And if he needs a jacket, he can always wear his jacket. And then I got the little niece. This is why I got everybody the t-shirt because the little niece got something awesome. She got this dress. It's got the characters at the bottom. Pumbaa, Timon, and Simba. It's got Simba's face on it or Ny Nyla's face, I guess. And then it's got a little hat with the ears on it. It's just so cute. I did find a shirt like this in Junior. But I didn't get catch it fast enough to get the older girl one. 
because they were on clearance. Oh my, it's got something on here. Oh, that's sad. I didn't see that. Well, it's going to have to be. They're not going to have any more. So, the shirt, t-shirts were from Kohl's and the dress was from Walmart. The dress was, how much was the dress? The dress was $14.92. So, I paid $14.92 for that. The t-shirts, the prices are never the same. They say $14. I think I paid $8 maybe. I don't remember. And the t-shirt said $15. I think I paid $9. Here's the fabric if I chose to choose to do a fabric bow. It's just some plain white fabric for the Minnie Mouse ears. And here's another one of the ribbons. I bought two of them. I bought this hat. I was going to make the boy a mouse ear hat, but I'll show you why I'm not going to do that. So I have this extra hat. That was at Kohl's. It was $2.99. And I think I used a 40% coupon because it's the only thing I bought. And the, the um, fabric did come from, um, did I say Kohl's? Hobby Lobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hat came from Hobby Lobby. The fabric also came from Hobby Lobby. I have no idea how much that cost. I bought a package of Gorilla Glue sticks for the Minnie Mouse ears. They were $5.97. They came from Walmart. And it is a 30 count. And I need the fat ones. And it's the um, regular size, I guess. Let's see. Then I, these also came from Kohl's. I thought they were five dollars, and guess what? They were not. I got each one of the kids one of these. I got Elsa, Anna, and Olaf. They were nine dollars because they came with the book. I don't think the book was worth that. So we got Olaf, and it's got a book, and each one has like a game at the, or stickers at the end. This one has the stickers. This one's for Thomas. This one's for the three-year-old. And it's got this one has got the game with the memory cards and the story. And this one's for the older girl just because they all got one. She's 12, so she might be a little too old for this, but who knows. This one comes with a poster. And Elsa. So that's going to be in their little grab bag. Then this is one of the October things that I had gotten, and I took out the other two. Because I never showed it. It is Halloween paper. And it was $4.99 for the paper pads. Which, by the way, today they are $4.99 again. But you can't use a 20% coupon this time because they are um, door busters. These were not door busters. So you could use 40%. I'm sorry, I, I'm 20% off coupon. Which Joanne's had at the time. So I paid less than $4.99. So I, I got the Christmas plaid one. And I got two... Di um, Christmas papers at Michael's. Last week they had them buy one get two free, which were they ended up being um that's too much math. <laughs> but if you use the twenty five percent off coupon that Joanne's had, they ended up being fifteen dollars, and they ended up being five dollars a piece if you use the coupon. The next two things are also for the car ride. This is for Thomas and Eileen, the little smaller ones. This came from Ollie's once again, and I don't know why one was cheaper than the other, but it was. It's one of those um, race boards. It comes with a book and then a race board. This is um, the Lion King and the Lion Guard, and it was $4.99. And this one was frozen, and this one was $3.99. I don't know why the difference. So that's for Thomas, and this one's for Ollie. Even Or they can buy, switch it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I forgot to mention one other thing. I had some wish orders, so I might as well show you those. I don't know which one this butterfly goes to, to but it, the butterfly goes to one of the sets. One of them is these stamps. Look how tiny they are. I honestly don't know how much these were because, you know, each site sells them different. These are probably free pay shipping for the stamps, and they're Alice in Wonderland. And then I got, I'm sorry, I don't know any of the prices on any of these. I got the poinsettias, and I don't even know if it's Wish or AliExpress. 
This is a dice set. And then this is a flower set. And then I got a dancing set. And then I got these um, cutouts of Alice in Wonderland. Probably one of those buy one, buy, pay for shipping type deals again. And it's the original pictures. Sorry about the bumping. Sorry. The phone's farther away than I am. So that's that one. Pause you up. Put this back in the bag. And I found this big butterfly die cut. All these pieces come out. And then I got this. It's a two, it's a two set. It's um the elves or gnomes. Let's see if there's a way to show it. Is that gonna be big? look any better? Yeah, that's a little better. And it's got these sentiments up here. And then on the back, it's got the dies that goes with the stamps. So you could buy either the dies, you could buy the stamps, or you can buy both. And I bought both. And here's some more um, stamps. They're Alice in Wonderland. And they're just so tiny. Look at I mean, stamping stamps, not postage stamps. And then I found these used stamps. I think this came from AliExpress. These were actually more expensive than going to Hobby Lobby and picking them up. Hold on just a moment. I figured after... You pay for the stamps, which I don't think these were free. Then you pay for shipping, and you go and buy the um, bag of stamps at Hobby Lobby. They're back with the coins trading section, and you use your 40% coupon. It, this act, they actually come out cheaper than these. And then I got a little Minnie Mouse with a bow. And then I got a turkey one. You can't see the turkey. Well, you can see the back of the turkey. And that, to me, this can be used as a fan, a shell, or it could be a peacock if you do it this right. Like maybe take the little arms off. Let's see if I can take that label off. Let me hold you a minute. I'll put you on pause in a minute. My goodness, it took forever to get that open. So you got a little turkey, a shirt. No, that's a hat, a shirt. Eyes, beak, nose, ears, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I got that. And that is my crafty Christmas in Disney World. Oh, yeah, I say, oh, and you're like, oh, one more thing? Right. No, that was, that belonged in the um, Dollar Tree, and I'm not going to share it because it belonged in the Dollar Tree. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I apologize for the bump into my awful sounding voice. Until next time, stay calm and shop on. Guys, go to Disney World. It's fun, especially the parties.